Hey guys, I'm going to bring you a real quick video here. This is on Skytron 3600 series remotes and their failures. Uh, you can see I've got the connector apart right here. The cable has no visible damage. Usually, the problem that we find is right up here. Let's see if I can get it. Usually, the wires will start splitting off here. Come on, come on. They'll bend and then they'll fray and then they'll touch other wires and then the remote just won't work anymore. But that's not the problem on this one. You can see that I just have it apart right here because what I'm doing is I'm looking at the wires so that I can do continuity over to this side. So I have my meter, have it on continuity. I would connect one of my jumpers here to a pin and then the other side I have it in one of the holes down here at this end. You can see I've got another jumper on my meter there. And then you just wiggle them around a little bit until you get a beep or a lack of a beep. And you can see um, I've already fixed the black wire right there and the brown one I just noticed was really slack. It was, it was hanging at a 90 degree angle and that is never a good indicator because that means that it's it's got a weak point. There's definitely some broken conductor. So uh, this is actually kind of a simple fix. Um, I always keep sharps by my workstation. You can see right here I've got all the different types of sharps and I've already done a video on using needles to help you with your troubleshooting. Here's a perfect example of that. You can see I've got the needle in one of the holes. I use the scalpel to go in and separate the heat shrink tube. I'll pull it away. You can see right here that the wire is damaged. So I'm just going to go in and fix that wire and uh, check it out again. I think that's the only other one. So I got two broken wires, and that's due to yank damage they were yanking on it. If you're going to take these things apart, remember that there's a little set screw right here. If you don't remove the set screw or loosen it up, then you're going to have a devil of a time on this guy. You can also see that there's a set screw down here. So make sure you loosen those set screws before you try and remove these jam nuts. Okay guys, that's all I got for you right now. This is a Skytron 3600 series and this is a problem that a lot of the Skytron series seem to have is usually down at this end but this time it's down here broken wires that's it why buy a 22 or 2300 remote when we can just fix them thanks for watching guys